Hello friends, welcome to California Gardening. In today's episode, we look at growing broccoli. So the variety of broccoli we are growing is called the Sun King Hybrid. This is a great variety to grow and we are starting our seeds indoors. Broccoli is a cool season crop, so you can grow it in the fall, through the winter and even in early spring. So we are starting our seeds indoors in the seed starting kit. The potting mix or the seed starting mix that I've used here is a combination of coconut coir, vermiculite and compost. And in my opinion, this makes a great seed starting mix. And you can even use peat moss instead of the coconut coir. Now about 34 days after sowing, what I'm doing is I'm transplanting the seedlings into slightly larger containers. Now why am I doing this? My raised beds are not yet ready and these seedlings have grown pretty big as you can see here. By transplanting these broccoli seedlings into these slightly larger containers, I can grow them for a few weeks till my raised beds are ready. For the potting mix here, I'm using a potting mix that's comprised of 30% peat moss, 30% vermiculite and 30% of compost. Now for the remaining 10%, you can use any kind of manure or a different type of compost. You can even use some organic fertilizer. Now in this method of growing broccoli, we are starting the seeds indoors and then transplanting them and we will eventually plant these in our raised beds but if you want you can direct sow the broccoli in the raised beds or in containers broccoli is a cool season crop and the seeds will sprout and the broccoli plants will grow even if you sow them directly and the variety of broccoli the sun king hybrid was specifically bred for growing in places like Southern California where the winters can get a little warm or a little hot sometimes and they claim that the plant doesn't bolt very easily. Bolting is a process when broccoli doesn't produce the broccoli heads but goes into a flowering stage. So that's what they claim. So let's look at how this broccoli grows here in Southern California. So here are the transplants, they're ready. Now you can leave them for four to eight weeks to grow in these containers. But I'm gonna wait till my raised beds are ready and then I'm gonna go ahead and transplant them. In mid-November, which is 45 days after sowing, I'm gonna start transplanting these seedlings. As you can see, the seedlings have grown pretty well, quite uh, bigger in these smaller containers. And look at the layout. Uh, this time in this season I have planted a little less plants spaced out just like what you see here. So we have exactly 8 plants in this 4x4 four four feet raised bed. Now this layout in my opinion is better than planting 9 plants for example. But we'll watch and see how this goes. My whole idea of planting it this way was that the corner plants get a little bit more space and so do the two plants in the center row. And hopefully this uh, design should work out well for these plants. Now make sure that you give enough spacing between your broccoli plants. If you crowd them together, uh, they're going to bolt. They're not going to produce as many heads of broccoli as you expect. So make sure you space them out well. What you see here is at least the minimal spacing you should use. So as you can see here, 81 days since sowing, the plants have grown quite well now. I had to replenish some of the soil in the raised beds and I added some more peat moss and some perlite to the raised bed mix. As you can see here, uh, this raised bed mix is working out pretty well for these broccoli plants. You can see that the heads are being formed and these heads should mature into larger broccoli heads very soon. So you can wait till the heads get a little larger 
as you can see here all these plants they're producing great heads now so let's talk a little bit about the fertilizer schedule now the organic matter in the soil should be able to supply most nutrients but you can side dress your raised bed with some compost add in some perlite vermiculite and some organic fertilizer so that should supply adequate nutrients now if you're using a liquid fertilizer like fish or seaweed you make sure that you use it every three weeks or so because liquid fertilizers are absorbed very quickly by the plants and you need to do a fertilizer schedule again every three weeks now to avoid pests like caterpillars on your broccoli plant you can use one of the solutions that you see on your screen here both of these are organic they don't contain any chemicals they're safe for you and by using these you can avoid most pests on your plant I never had to use any of these pesticides because I washed my plants and I made sure that it was free of any pests. So we are now in January and as you can see here this broccoli head has now grown quite big and it might grow bigger as well but you want to harvest your broccoli before they start flowering. So at this stage you can still wait for a little longer till the head becomes slightly larger. Now at what stage do you harvest your broccoli head? Now as you can see here this head is pretty firm and we're gonna harvest it because we are not gonna let it go into flower so that you can use your broccoli very well at this stage. Now once you harvest the main head of the broccoli you will get a lot of these side shoots or side broccoli florets that you can harvest as well and that's the real benefit of growing a broccoli plant you can harvest these fresh broccoli florets as long as the plant grows you're not going to be limited by one broccoli head now in case of cauliflower for example you can get one large head but with broccoli you get all these mini florets right throughout the growing season so you always have a supply of fresh broccoli right in your backyard now while you're harvesting your broccoli you might notice that some broccoli florets go into flower and you might want to remove these because it attracts butterflies and moths that will lay eggs on your broccoli which you do not want so this is the broccoli harvest for a single day all these lovely broccoli florets and i was able to do repeated harvest I used to just come in my backyard, harvest a few florets, and that was a good harvest for that day. So there we have it folks, broccoli is my favorite vegetable, my number one favorite vegetable. And I'd like to know from you, do you like broccoli? Do you like growing broccoli? And what varieties of broccoli have you tried and what are the challenges you've faced? I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.